Ceres is the closest dwarf planet to Earth, and it is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter in the asteroid belt. We mostly learned about the dwarf planet through Dawn spacecraft, which was sent in 2007 and it arrived in 2015. Dawn spacecraft needed 8 years to reach Ceres, but that is also because it stopped by to visit Mars and 4 Vesta, the biggest asteroid. But if you were to be the one chosen to land on Ceres, then with current technology, a spaceship could take you to Ceres within around a year. That is because to get to Mars, it takes an average 7 months. And since Ceres is a bit less than 2 times further away, that is why the trip would be a year long to Ceres. So then let's say you got onto the spaceship. As you would approach Ceres, it would be apparent that the object is very round, but also heavily cratered. It will resemble our moon a bit, but also it is a lot darker. So most likely you were sent to explore and most mysterious place in the series is the Okator Crater. It is a 90 km long crater that has two huge bright spots. As you would land here and step onto the surface of Ceres, it would be noticeable that you are very light and you would move around very fast without any exhaustion. That is all because, well, gravity of Ceres is 35 times weaker than on the Earth. As you would look into the distance, at the center would be a huge bright spot. It would be obviously reflecting a lot more light than the rest of the gray surface. The bright spot would be surrounded with mountains and in the background, the visible ridge of the crater would be apparent. When you would get to the bright spot, as you would examine it on the ground, it would seem like you are looking at some form of snow, but it would be obvious from the texture that it is not. What you would be actually looking at is a form of salt, that is, salt mixed with a bit of water. The real mystery there is because no one really knows how the salt got there in such huge quantities all at one place. It looks very odd, and there are quite a few of those salt deposits throughout the whole surface. Some suggest that it originated from the inside of Ceres. After you explore the salt deposits, it would be the time to get to a cryovolcano, a volcano that spews cold material, and that is Huna Mons. As you would look into the distance, a huge, very smooth and tall structure would be present. The whole mountain is 4 kilometers tall, making it the tallest on Ceres. But despite the fact that it is so tall, you could climb it easily since the gravity is so low. This cryovolcanic dome formed over time as the spewed material accumulated and formed this mountain. What is weird about it is that it is the only one found on the whole surface of Ceres. As you would explore the whole surface, generally, there would be many craters and mountains. And there would be pretty much no flat areas. It is an old surface that was bombarded with asteroids. Now, it would be apparent that despite the fact that things would seem big, they would not be as big as they are on Earth. Because the whole surface area of Ceres is as big as the surface area of Egypt. So yeah, this dwarf planet is tiny. It is only 940 kilometers in diameter. While looking at the sky, it would seem kind of odd since it is in the vacuum of space. But the vacuum of space also means that you would be able to see some stars during the day. So Ceres is quite an interesting dwarf planet that is, relatively speaking, not that far away on a cosmic scale. We should send many more man-made objects to it, and maybe we will figure out all of the mysteries that are on that surface.